Hey guys, thanks for clicking the button. Joe here, I'm with Buddy Scout. We're in the woods, we're gonna do a bushcraft overnighter. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not the nicest weather. The leaves are rattling, there's wind, there's little styrofoam balls of snow. Rained for the past two or three days, and it snowed real good last night. Most of the snow has um, melted, but there is still some around the woods. We're gonna sleep under a tarp, use our ax a bunch, cook some good steak and bacon. I think you're gonna enjoy this one. <laughs> styrofoam balls of snow, like I said. I got my uh, old Joe Robinette Why Not Wildland Scout pack on today and uh, haven't used that backpack in some time. I really do enjoy this bag. I think I found a decent spot amongst these beaches to camp. All right, this is gonna be it. We got one pole here, another tree here. Hope that's in frame. That's gonna be the start of my shelter. The backpack's not very light this time. I got a wool blanket on there for Scout, and I've got a, a sleeping bag for me. I can't expect Scout to just lay on this wet ground. I'm not gonna do that. He's 11 years old. He's earned a wool blanket. Move that stick. Get that stick and move it. Move that stick. Arr, get that stick and move it. Don't rip it apart. Move it. Get it and go. Get it and go. Get it and go. Get it and go. <laughs> I'm going to get that stick. I want to get that stick. Arr, arr. Oh, we broke it wishbone style. <laughs> So great being able to take him out again. It was just too hot back home. Okay, so hotness is not a problem here. You can see behind me, I do have some uh, maintenance to do before I can even set my tarp up. Check this out. Look at this bonus. I didn't even notice this until now. This must have been like logged a long time ago or whatever. See this big round on the ground? It was cut off. Ah, Scout, you whipped me, bro. <laughs> cut off that stump there. So I'll definitely be able to use this, like a chopping block or a seat or anything. It's uh, super handy. Very cool. If I can move it. <laughs> there we go. Watch out, buddy. Yeah, okay. Well, I can use it for something. Bonus. So the purpose of this trip, just to get out with my buddy scout, my good boy, and uh, have some fun. You know, cook up some good food. Go on, buddy, go, go. Cook up some good food and just relax in the woods with him, which I haven't been able to do on a camp for a while. So, nothing extreme. I got a couple tarps, got a few beers. I think I'm gonna crack one now. It's after lunchtime. This is a beer, homie. This is not for you. Go on over there. Uh, it's after lunch time now. I ate lunch and then came out here, so I feel all right with having a little brewski in the daytime. You know what? Let's do, uh, I have a cowbell, which is 6.5 or 6.3. I have a headstock, which is 7. I have a dog's butt in your face. Lay down, buddy. I don't, like, I don't give him beer, I swear. I swear. <laughs> You're making me look bad. And then I got a double dead elephant, which is a 6.6. .6. So let's go with the 6.3, the cowbell. And that's one of my favorites as well. From, um, so it's a boxing Bruin from cowbell. Well, she's a little shook up from all the walking. Cheers, folks. Cheers, Hayes. Your, your star, mate. Your star. I'm working on it. All right, so let's get to setting up a bushcraft camp. Don't spill my beer. I want to get my pack off the wet ground and tying it up here and using a stick as a toggle is probably a good option. Done it before with good success. 
I'm just trying to lo really loosen it in there. Flip it around, bring it up a bit higher so that when I set my pack on it, it'll, it'll hang where I want it to hang. So I just need a strong stick now. No, 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 no. Scoots and goots. There you go, buddy. Does anything like that will work? No, I already gave you a stick, man. I already gave you a stick. Oh no, it's not too long. There we go. Damn, yeah, son. A little lower than I wanted. Maybe we can fix that though. Nope. <laughs> there she be. Not too shabby. I am going to leave that wool blanket right on there. So I don't have to lay it on the ground or anything like that until we do want it for scout. I've got my old trusty tarp, the tarp that you've seen me in overnight bushcraft camp with my dog. One, two, three, four, and five. This is a trusty old tarp. I got it from Bushcraft Outfitters many, many moons ago. And you'll recognize it when you see it. It's that coyote tan color. Lovely. Lovely tarp, ripstop, old, old school paracord on there from probably anywhere from seven to three years ago. Three to seven years ago is how I should say it. So this is going to be our main tarp. Um, let's set this up. Why, why are we talking about it? We got a brand new saw. I was super excited about my Husqvarna chainsaw and my new Husqvarna axe that I both purchased recently to do stuff around the house, so I bought a Husqvarna folding saw. Now I can't lie, the, not, the only reason I bought one isn't because I'm a Husqvarna fanboy now, it's because since the move I cannot find one of my folding saws out of like the three I had. So let's see how this Husqvarna folding saw does. Look at this, brand new, right? And I'm raving about how much I like Husqvarna, but check this out. Not that this has anything to do with the performance of the saw, but she just comes right off, bro. Maybe I'll keep that. Put it on my Husqvarna fanboy sticker collection. Two degree moth. Why are you whining? Hear the plane? The plane has followed us. The plane has followed us, Scoots Magoots. Whatever, Dad. The small beach is in the way. I'll be able to use it for stuff later on. That's pretty good saw. It's no silky. She's pretty good. Nice and sharp. That's with live wood too, right? And I made sure I asked the guy at the store, live and dead? He says, yes. I said, are you sure? He says, yes. So if you haven't noticed, there's a little bit of a theme here and it's just copying the overnight bushcraft camp with my dog that I like to do every fall. And in that theme, in those videos, I do the Adirondack wind shelter with my tarp. And that's no different from this time. It's exactly what I'm doing. So all I'm doing right now is tying a taut line hitch on either tree. I'm going about chest height here. And uh, the, the cord does tend to sag after I've got the tension on it and the pressure and everything. So this is a good height I tend to start with with a 9x9 nine nine or a 10x10 10 10 tarp. It's one of the most bomb proof tarps I've ever used. Oh, it just reeks of smoke constantly. Yes, it's always such a good, good reminder of uh, camping trips past. Okay, so for this setup, I wanna go on a diagonal. I don't wanna set it up straight, I want to Put the corners over to the second or third tie outs, depending. So let's see. This is the corner right here. And I'll go one, two tabs back. I'll throw that toggle right in that small tab there. 
<laughs> oh, they just throw it right in. No problems whatsoever. Okay, we got one side on. And then on the second side, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Count one, two, three. There we go. These tabs could be a touch bigger. And I think in the newer tarps, they have made them bigger. All right. Good for your home. There we go. All right. Pull that tight. Pull that tight. All right. Things are looking good. I'm going to need a bunch of pegs or stakes for my tarp. So this, uh, the beach that I took down would be perfect for that. I can just, if I get the skinny enough uh, twigs, I can just stick them right in the tabs. No scope. Look at this. This is my favorite way to make a peg. This is a perfect example. Oh man, it's scaring me. Okay, so, you can see it, right? Stick it in, boop, and then this part is like a lock and it's not going anywhere. Best tent peg going. I'm using my old Turley Gasconade. Fantastic belt blade. There's another one. Boom. So I'm just going to make a few more up just like this. Probably five total. And then we'll start pegging it down. So this setup takes a little bit of tweaking. Um, sometimes you get it set up a certain way and then put the finishing touches on it and it gets all saggy in one spot. So this is a little work in progress and that's okay. But we will get her done for sure. There's the first peg. I want the sides to come out like wings. So I think this is probably the one to be pulling as well. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three tabs. I'm just counting the tabs to make sure I'm putting them on the equal uh, ones on either side. Yeah, that'll never come out of the ground. Okay, now this can get tucked under, I believe, to use as part of the ground sheet. And I'll tie that tight. We're getting there. Once I pull that back, pull this up, we'll be doing all right. Remember when I said it takes a lot of tweaking on this one? I ended up adding a couple more pegs and that really brought it all together. This is the only spot I'm having a little bit of difficulty with. What I think I'm gonna do is just literally wrap this higher up and try and wrap the tarp in it on itself. Just like that, that worked fine. And then I'll tuck this in call it good so when I come around the side you'll really see the difference here right now you can really see like it's like half of a tent I can really bury myself in there Okay, not too shabby. We got a little awning now. We got our fire over to the side so we don't really mess up with this. I'm not gonna have a long fire tonight. I have a decent sleeping bag and Scott's got his wool blanket so the fire will be purely for enjoyment and cooking and staying warm before bed. So 
I can show you a little bit closer what I mean. So this, this orange cord ties the whole thing together, right? I'm getting a big awning over top of me to protect me even more. And it's going up to that tree. In the past, I haven't really used it like that because of fear of fire and burning it or melting it. But if I have the fire, see there's the line. If I have it right there, then I'll be clear of this cord. I have a little fire, like a, there's like a little divot in the ground already here. It's kind of safe. And I could just sit over to the side uh, in front of my fire. I can probably pull that um, that little piece of wood, uh, that, that log that I found, sit my little sit pad on, on top of it and, and be pretty comfortable here. Yeah, it's all coming together. Not too shabby. Yeah, I got a lot of coverage now that I wrapped all this around here, tagged it, tied, tagged it out, tied it out. It's good. It's very good. keep this ground sheet on the inside of the tarp at the top that way anything dripping through isn't gonna pool on my ground sheet okay man this is looking comfy now it's scouts old wool blanket for him this really is an awesome backpack I love it I should I designed it I haven't used it in a a little while. I'm sure not all of you were around for that, but that was maybe three years ago or something. I did it with a company in Toronto. I still have two of these bags and I'm probably gonna start using them a little bit more. I like them, I like them a lot. We'll blanket for scoots. Nice big area for him, and I'll have him lay kind of behind me against the tarp and I'll lay there in front of him. Yeah, it's a good little blanket for him. I could cover him up too if I need to. If, he, if it starts to snow or rain or anything like that and he gets all wet, I can even dry him off with it and uh, cover him up with it. But he doesn't have a care in the world. Just wants to chew under sticks. <laughs> I got a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> you don't have to get up, you're good. Do what you're doing. Here, go lay in your bed. Lay in your bed. Lay in your bed. Good boy, that's for you. Oh, you can lay on this blanket. All right then. Sleeping bag, sorry, sleeping pad. And sleeping bag. Pretty soon I plan to do like a more limited gear survival -y type overnighter where I won't bring any of this stuff. Maybe I'll bring a wool blanket. I won't bring the dog because I'll need the wool blanket and then we'll just make everything out of natural materials and stuff. Those are always fun videos to do. This is a, uh, a light, believe it or not. It's like a illumination balloon, which I'll use tonight to, um, to help me film. It's a little mushroomy. I'm not gonna be eating uh, off of it or anything, but it'll do. There we go.
Okay, that's not bad. Have the fire right there. Stay nice and warm here. Pretty happy with that. I'm gonna gather some rocks, I think, and clear. First, I'm gonna clear away this area, see what the ground's like underneath the, the leaves, and I'll decide if I need rocks. I might grab some. I've seen a few here and there that, that are too far away. Maybe build a little bit of a fire reflector with them if I can. So big guy. Oh, Watch out, man. Go over there. Go over there. Come on. Dig. Dig for me. Good dig. Dig, 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 dig. Good dig. Okay, go on. Watch out, big guy. Watch out. Watch out. Go get it. Crazy dog. Well, what do you think, Scoots? I didn't even... I was telling him to come lay on the bed, the the wool blanket when I was on the shooting the video a couple minutes ago there in front of you guys, but he didn't do that obviously, and then I just left him alone and he came in and laid on it himself like a good boy, like an 11 year old dog should, you know. Well, ground is clear in front of me, safe for a fire, no hazard of it catching any of the wet leaves or the ground on fire, so. I think what I'm going to do is go search for some rocks like I was saying and maybe build like a U, like a U-shaped fire pit. Nothing in front. I don't want a rock in front uh, towards me to block the heat, but I do want some on the sides in the back uh, to kind of reflect the heat back to me, to kind of retain the heat. And also, um, oh, excuse me, just to keep it burning better. Not that there's much wind, but maybe there will be later on. I see hundreds of those two degree moths just flying around all over the place. They're so awesome to see. It's funny when you don't deal with bugs for a season, when they're around, they're not that bad and they're not biting you. So yeah, observations by Joe. Thank you, I'll be here all day. something I'm not used to. Readily available rocks. That was not effort at all. Nice and polished too. Ground. Oh, that's a rock. Uh, that's a rock. Dig. 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 Not the rock. Next to the rock. Alright. Alright. That's enough. Right here. Dig. 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 Good boy. Watch out now. Good boy. Watch out. Move. Teamwork. Teamwork. Oh, so. You just take my stick, eh? All right, this might be too much worth work than it's worth. No, 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 no. Come here, bud. Come here. Dig right here. Dig hard. Dig, dig, dig right here. Dig, 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 dig. Good boy. Good boy. Dig. Good boy. Okay, watch out. Oh, yes. Good dog. Good dog. That was perfect. Okay, that's a decent sized rock, guys. Old joke in there. So I obviously want the biggest ones in the back. Throw them rough, roughly right now. Put them there. Ah, pass. She's a little heavy, that one. So if I sit here, the back of the fire is where those big rocks are right now. 
then that's all good. Everything's good that way. There's actually a rock in the ground right here that I never put there. I could integrate that into the fire pit. So I think the only thing I really need to do is just to position this big boy how I want it. And that's probably like this. Yeah. Do one of these. Put a small one behind it and prop it up kind of thing. So the next one is there. Kind of propped up by this one and there's that integrated um, rock in the ground here. Where are these roots? Perfect. All right, that goes there. And like I said, I don't want a full circle. I want like a U so I can get all the warmth from it. That's probably it right there, to be honest with you. That's not so shabby. Those rocks will retain heat. Yeah, that's exactly what I want right there. Perfect. Nice size fire, nice warming fire, nice cooking fire, nice just ambient fire, and um, that's all I'll need. Oh look, where did this guy come from? An alive snail. Just right on the forest floor here. Maybe he was under one of those rocks I picked up. I can tell he's alive by there's this little like, mucus covering where his uh, toe comes out. I think it's called the toe. Anyways, we'll put that guy away from the camp so he doesn't get trampled on. Meow. Meow. Piece is pretty rotten. Huh. I'm gonna chop into it a bit and see, but I don't have high hopes. Are you gonna be okay? You gonna make it? Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you. I know you're trying to help. Back up. Back up. Back up, big guy. Just putting my axe mask away in my pocket. It actually feels all right. Scout, can you stop crying, man? That might be all right. I'm touching my lips to it to feel if it's moist. It doesn't feel very moist at all. All right. Well, I'll take some pieces of this back anyways. Now that I know it's decent. See how this saw works on dead wood. Can you please be careful of the axe, dude? Let's just tuck it under there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he wants some wood for himself.
Yeah, it's not bad. I've used better, but I've definitely used worse. It's okay. Look at the handle. I like the handle. You can really get a good, oh, scout. Get a really good oomph grip on it. But, yeah, she's dry. She's dry. I gotta lose some of these layers, man. Getting too warm. I'm gonna start chopping, bucking up this log here. There's no way I wanna be wearing all this stuff. I really should have lost a couple layers first when I got here, but I was a little chilled. All right, done with my sweater. Should be good. She's slippery, sliding around all over the place. What about there? Maybe she'll stay a bit better. lucky this isn't a dead standing but she's dry as the dickens seasoned even and it looks like it had fallen off the top of another tree and just kind of planted into the ground so I can tell because of how gray it is that it's nice and dry I'll show you what I mean it's just got this gray weathered look here to it almost white and it's got that natural check so we're good to go problem is there's a plane every two seconds uh, I can possibly see my camp over there somewhere, but she's nowhere close. Alright, my shelter's behind me, I'm close enough now. This is a good chopping log or bucking up log, so I'm going to use this. Buck these things up a little bit, get manageable pieces, and throw them over there with the rest of my wood. Ooh, I just found another piece while well, I'm talking to you. Another dead piece of beech, I think. Maybe maple. Bam, son. Go on, big guy. Solid that one. That's good. Very good. <laughs> that log underneath that I'm using for a chopping log is just disintegrating. Okay, that's really good wood. I'm happy about that.
That's my firewood, dude. Where's that stick at? Hey, that was mine. That was all for me. Careful now. Not the greatest saw for dead wood, guys. Being totally honest, not really feeling it. It works all right, but it binds. I don't think it has the right teeth set. Tooth set. Teefer set. Ah. Okay. Okay. See my problem though? Can you see what I'm talking about? Like I've used lots of saws and I know how they should work. It catching it like that every now and then is not cool. And it, it's, it's very tiring on my arm too. I've done this, 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 and this, which really isn't all that much if I'm being honest um, with the saw. I still got a big chunk to do, and I might even just consider doing it with my with my axe instead because uh, it's really not fun using this saw. So I think I'll leave this in my ATV as like an emergency saw if I have to clear a path or something. But um, it's more of a pruning saw in my opinion. It's wet on the outside, but I won't judge a piece of wood by its outer bark. Apparently. Okay, we're doing good on the firewood front. I got a lot of different stages of kindling and fuel. I know I saw a yellow birch in these woods. Cannot remember where, but I'm sure if there was one, there'll be a couple. So I'm gonna go search till I find one or a white birch, whatever. But oh, right in front of me, old Joe found one. All right, we'll get this fire going soon. It's just after four. I want to eat. I'm hungry, so we'll get this going and I'll probably eat maybe in an hour and a half. That'll be all right. So here's that yellow birch right in front of me. And all I want to do is take some of these ribbony pieces. I'm not trying to peel it, just trying to take the outer flaky stuff so, stuff off. And that's gonna be more than enough. And I just love the way this thing looks coming up on it. It's like a lot of shelter, like a lot of coverage, man. Quite the coverage. Yes, bam, sun indeed. So we have everything we needed. We've got our birch bark like you saw. We've got our kindling, but our kindling is just twigs, right? And they're from like pencil, pencil lead to pencil to uh, finger size, but they're all wet. You know, like I said earlier, it's been raining for three days and then it snowed. So I feel like it's gonna be a good idea to split some wood down and get to the middle and uh, make some shavings to just kind of help out the initial fire starting. So just split it down with my blade here. This is a piece of maple or beech. I'm not sure right now, to be honest. She's tough though, whatever she is. I think it's beech. And it's pretty dry. Be able to make some good shavings off this, I think. So just real quick ones. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll do a couple handfuls of those and I'm sure that'll help the fire get started much easier. Get rid of this outer wet stuff, make an edge for myself.
some of those are good. I won't need much, just a little bit to have a boost for the um, birch bark until the, the twigs catch. She is tough wood, man. When you're having marginal stuff, lots of little is always good. When it's wet, lots of little is always good. In a general practice, lots of little is always good. All right, let's get this fire going. You can see all my stuff laid out, how I have it prepared. I've got some logs down for a barrier to keep it off the cold, wet ground, to give it another uh, base of coals and just give it more chance to live the fire. Got my birch bark there, my little helpers here, and my twigs there. So it should go pretty easily. I'm using my uh, fire still from Nick from HF Survival School. Once again, this thing's a beast. Like, look at the size of it compared to this. Big, big way fire still. I'm gonna try to get, excuse me, a link where you guys can find these. I think Nick is selling them, if I'm not mistaken. He sent me this a while ago. All right. I don't want to get it all together. Use a brace. Shavings should go up pretty easy. And while they're growing, big flames, let's put this first set on. As soon as those flames start to come out the top of this, I want to throw my, my next layer on just to dry them out as it's going kind of thing. There's no point in one stick in it, eh, Terry? Something I learned from Iowa Woodsman a long time ago. And anyone who's been around that long will hear me say it too. Don't be one stick in it. The thing behind that is it's not, fire's not going to grow strong enough to dry everything out one stick at a time. You've got to kind of pile it on, the, on there and use all the heat and the ambient craziness going on to dry everything out as it's going and if it's raining the top sticks cover the bottom sticks in the fire and it's a help for sure okay she's gonna go I think we're out of the danger zone here now I can hear a lot of moisture in there but I have faith I feel like I feel like she'll go you know all right I've got everything on like I was saying she is struggling it is on fire. We are good, but she is struggling. Anyways, I'm getting pretty chilly and quite hungry. So I'm going to put my clothes on, bundle up, and uh, stoke this fire, keep it going, get a lot of coals so I can cook my steak because I'm ready to eat for sure. You ready to eat, Scout? Want some steaks? Fine then. Alrighty. Watch out for that string there, guys. She'll get you. See how the smoke's kind of going that way, not coming into my shelter. That's a good thing. Who's a good boy? Yeah, this fire is garbage. I'm gonna have to split some of this wood down right now, so not real dry stuff and get it on.
What is it? It's five o'clock now. I'm still letting my fire burn. Build up some coals so I can cook. But uh, I've already used up a decent amount of wood. I think a good use of my time is going to be going and finding more wood. So I'm going to dedicate some time to that now. As much as I just want to kind of sit here and relax. I know I'm going to need more tonight. Scoots is beat too. Alright, well, it's almost time to cook. Those coals are looking mighty fine. Can you lay down, big guy? Mighty fine! Lay down. So, in my food bag of goodies, I've got food for you, don't worry. We've got a red pepper. We're going to slice this guy up, put him on uh, uh, the grill as well. I've got some Mo Mountain hot sauce. This stuff is probably my favorite hot sauce going. It's almost like a barbecue-y, taco-y. It's really, really good. It goes, goes good on... Pizza, wings, steak, I love it. So I got sent that by a subscriber a while ago. Thank you very much. Clove of garlic, some Joe Robinette spice. I'll put the link in the description where you can get some of that. Some bacon, the bacon is for tomorrow. I got a plate and look at this. This is my, this is my prime rib. This is my supper for tonight, Ant Scouts very marbled very good looking this is no GMO, GMO um, all natural everything I haven't had meat from this so this came from a farm um, they had the, the animal there everything happened there right it's, so it's, it's very local and very uh, should be very good I haven't had it I hope it is because if it is I'm gonna buy probably a lot more I bought it frozen because um, that's how they have it but you can buy bigger pieces and half cows and stuff like that so probably what I'll be doing soon enough if this is good. It smells like beef. All right. Um, probably gonna get that grill open on top of the fire. Getting everything grilled now. I'm excited. Can you, you keep getting in the frame though. Keep getting in the frame, Scout. So, in my last video, lay down, bud. Come on. In my last video, I showed this donk grill that I had from a long time ago, first time using it. There was a lot of interest in it. Um, I can get some made. If there, I can probably get like a run of like 20 or 50 made if there's interest. Let me know in the comments, and then if there is, we'll go from there. But it's heavy duty. It's not a backpacking grill. This is more of like, um, it's, it's not heavy by any means, but it's steel. You know what I mean? It's, it's not an uh, ultra lightweight one, but it has legs. They go this far, they can stab into the ground, into the snow, whatever you want. I've used this for so many years. Anyways, let's get this on here. Damn, son. We'll let that get out nice and hot. And while we do that, we got to have a little chat, eh? Have a little chat. I'm going to crack this uh, headstock. This is from Nickelbrook. Really good beer. Highly recommend it if you can get it. Not so citrusy, real hoppy, real good. Cheers. Buddy Mike showed me this one a long time ago. All right, excuse me. I'm gonna cut up this red pepper, I think. That grill's got to be getting pretty hot. So, so everyone's adjusting well in the new house, in the new place we live. Emerald's made some friends at school, which is awesome. That was my biggest concern, Le legit. Like, um, I knew everything would be fine with us, but I uprooted my daughter, who is going to be seven soon. 
out of the city she's only 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 ever city she's lived in only ever house oh my goodness there's a little pepper inside my pepper there's a little this this pepper was pregnant oh uh oh what did I do <laughs> just leave it it's a pepper dude <clears throat> anyways leave it man for real so out of the only school she's ever been to out of the only house she's ever lived in out of the only city she's ever ever lived in and no more friends new baby sister um, new school, no neighbors that have kids, um, you know what I mean? Just a huge difference. But as people say, kids are resilient, and she's doing very well. She's been invited to a birthday party already, so I'm really happy about that. Can you please lay down? Good boy. And sh her birthday again, again will be pretty soon, so when that comes about, we can have hopefully a lot more interaction with the other kids parents you know what I mean and, and try and show them that we're trustworthy and we'd like to have we'd like to have Emerald to have friends outside of school right like um, after school stuff so anyways I'm sure that'll all happen in due time but it is going all well right now Will is doing well the baby's doing well I'm doing well I'm having fun I met a friend uh, Bush Trek Bush on uh, Instagram and YouTube I don't know what the heck that means, but he's a really nice guy. Like a, you know, like he was hitting me up for a while before uh, before I came up here and and after I got up here and stuff, wanting to get together and stuff. And it's like, yeah, he seemed like a nice guy and a normal guy, but it's like, how do I know? Like, what's going on? But I do I do tend to meet up with quite a few people now. Um, and anyways, couldn't have been happier. Could not have been happier with the dude. Super salt of the earth type guy. Met his parents. And they let me use one of their ATVs for a while and just awesome up here it's a whole other um feel a whole other vibe you know I mean, people are nice people are normal and real and, and cool um my neighbors are good it's good it's a big change it's a big change and uh it, it's awesome it's very cool so i think we can get that oh so, you know what we'll put the steak spice on that's probably a normal normal thing to do right oh joe oh. She's getting dark, but that camera is not showing it. I'm not shooting in manual right now. I have been for the past couple times, but anyways. This looks like a good steak. Color's kind of weird. But it was frozen when I bought it, and I let it, I let it thaw overnight and today. So I'm sure it's fine. Heavy on the spice tonight, boys and girls. This is a decent sized steak. Oh, there's that sizzle we were missing. Oh, man. She gonna be good, boys and girls. Why do I keep saying boys and girls now? That's strange. <sighs> Okay, I don't like this. I'm going to switch to manual to get you an actual real feel of how dark it is out here. It's not like it's nighttime by any means, like super dark, but it's way darker than it's showing up in the camera. I want more real, more reality, more real tea. Okay, so I got to go bigger ISO or ISO, whatever you want to call it. And maybe go here. All right, now what? Yep, that is pretty accurate. That's actually very accurate. Perfect. Okay, now I got to uh, I got to flip that thing. I think that's the problem. Then the darks are real dark. But anyways, that is a correct resubstantiation of <laughs> the color out here. <laughs> Not ready to be flipped yet. I gotta get rid of some of this flame though. I gotta move. I gotta move. The flame. Get rid of the flame. It's not the same. Right? 
Oh, boys and girls. Boys and girls. All right, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna switch back to what I was shooting before. That's what that looks like now, and that's how light she looks. Oh no! Stupid freaking pepper bro went in the oven. Pepper bro went in the oven. That's, something's wrong with me. All right. Pepper bro went in the oven. Hope all my other pepper bros are fine out there. Staying away from ovens. So. A little longer on that side, I think. I do like to cook the fat a touch on a ribeye. Round and round she goes. Oh, she stops. Headlamp, bro. What I think I might do is drop this steak down right onto the coals just to finish it off. It's probably done, but I do want a little bit of a char on this one. So let's do this. Get the ash off the coals as much as possible. For a second. Fresh coals over there. Just to get the fat a little charred, a little caramelized. I really prefer that. Oh yeah, she's going to town. She's going to town. We'll let it sit for a good few minutes. All right. There she be. Well, that's sitting for a couple minutes. I'm gonna get the fire going again. That garlic wasn't quite done. Don't leave it, Scout. But I put it right in the fire, built up the fire big time, and uh, should be good. It's nice and soft now at least. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I gotta move that camera. You can't see a thing. Yes, it is better. All right, everything looks really good. Can't wait to dig in. Scout's gonna have to wait this time. I'm not gonna just come off a piece. I wanna eat and then he can wait and have some scraps for me. I have some dog food for him too, but I'll give him about a quarter of this steak. Oh, it smells so good. Again, this is the first time trying this grass-fed, local, non-GMO. Buttery soft. I'm gonna eat on film this time. And a lot of people saying, oh, don't worry, but we don't mind if you eat front of us so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna try and minimize the talking while chewing I think that's maybe the problem right right even though I'm I'm outside camping type thing <laughs> that's all right I see the point I see the point this garlic I'm just gonna eat oh yes roasted garlic Oh, okay, I'm going to let that, this garlic, I'm just going to let it cool. I'm just going to let it cool for a little bit. Cheers, guys.
but it just gets colder and colder. All right, I'm gonna put on my Mo Mountain hot sauce. This stuff is the bee's knees, for reals. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. That was a big old drip. Drip, drip. I enjoy dripping. Mmm, garlic is great. Mmm. Yep. Well, I told you guys about that one idea I had to come out, do a more bushcrafty type thing where I'm using bedding, sorry, boughs and um, boughs for bedding and shelter and leaves and stuff like that. I'll probably do that soon. Maybe get it in, try and get in before the snow comes for good. Snow's on its way. She's coming quick. Another piece of that garlic. Mmm. so good anyways um yeah and then once winter comes possibilities are endless but i'm gonna do some hot tenting stuff too soon which i'm excited for here you go big guy Oh my goodness, this is a good steak. So yeah, perfect. It's a good steak. Very happy with it. Now I can know now I know I can buy more of it. That type. You know what? Take that with a bite of garlic. At the same time, dipped in some of that Mo Mountain sauce. Mmm, saucy. Saucy to you, saucy to you. <laughs> good boy. He's such a good boy. Get that down. I've given him already more, more than this, but he'll get a little bit more. He'll get a little bit more of that, but I'm gonna eat a good portion of it. So I'm really pleased with this steak, and I'm really happy about that because I want to support local stuff. You know, what I, mean? I want to have like a more community feel. I want to buy things like fruits and vegetables and meat and stuff like that from people right around me in my direct vicinity, supporting local stuff. Um, it's just a different kind of life, right? Like I don't. I had some good neighbors at my other place for sure but that was it like this is more of like a home business type thing each person has does a, does a certain thing and you can support them and you know be a part of it which is what we want not just me but will so i think i will go back get some more you can put an order in for a bigger, bigger order. They have everything, like not just beef, quail eggs, fancy, fancy pants. This is my Mo Mountain. <laughs> oh man, I, have I been on a trip or camp out or anything where that plane has not flown above head, above head, overhead? Like a, like a Luhu. Cindy! Where's, what's up? Hey, yeah, yeah. Have you seen Cindy? Oh, Cindy Luhu, what do you mean? I'm so weird, I'm so weird. 
Ah, steak in my life. Well, <laughs> Scout moves away from the hot fire. The uh, supper was super good, like extremely good. I'm done my beer. Got all the food. Scout got a heaping portion of, the, of that steak. I'm full, beyond full. So I don't have anything else to eat tonight, and that's good because I don't need anything else to eat. Ugh. Just threw a big old slab of birch bark on there and got this fire going real good again. So, well, it's always good to bring a sit pad, regardless if it's something like this, little piece of Reflectix, little heat shield type thing, or a, like a foam kids puzzle piece floor, or an actual sit pad that you buy at like REI or MEC. It's good to have to get off the ground, and also very, very handy to fan the fire. As I have told you for over 10 years in probably hundreds of YouTube videos, but <laughs> it doesn't change the fact it's true. Figured I'd get a little cleaned up. Sit down and have my last beer. Relax for the night. So the only food I do have left is that bacon. I'm sure it'll be fine, especially with Scout with me. I'm gonna hang it up in a tree away from me, but I'm not gonna hang it like, you know, I'm not gonna hang a bear bag type thing. I'm just gonna stick it in a tree uh, right near my backpack where it was actually. It'll be fine. I'm gonna tie Scout up at night too, so he doesn't go after any animals or anything like that. But I burned my uh, my sit pad a little bit. She's uh, a little melted. Still works. So it works good. Should we get there? That's the food. Shelter's right there. Fire's right there. Nothing's gonna come by. And if it does, I'll scare it off. It's close enough we'll hear it, so I'm not too concerned. Fire's been going good for a long time now. I'm just about out of wood. I got one or two pieces left, but I have been splitting up some extra wood, put it in there for tomorrow morning so I can have my bacon and stuff, especially if it rains or snows tonight. That wood will be nice and dry. And I also do have that beach there that I cut up and broke up. And between that and the wood I just showed you, should be good for tomorrow morning. It's time for the last one. After this, it'll be bedtime. Fire's going good. It's very warm. I'm not cold in the least. Um, granted, I do have every single thing I have on me, which is like socks, long johns, pants, boots, t shirt, sweater, fall raven wool, and then this fall raven outer coat. Um, but I'm pleasantly warm. The only clothes I have do, do have to change into is my one pair of socks I brought because I knew my feet were going to get super clammy from wearing these muck boots. It's just how it is. They're good for keeping your feet dry from the outside and keeping them warm. But uh, yeah, I definitely sweat. Anyways, cheers guys. This is the Double Dead, Ele Double Dead Elephant from Railway City. 8%. Not 6.6. 6, 8%. Glad we saved this one. Uh, out of... St. Thomas, Ontario.
8%'s no joke. That's a big can too. Anyway, as far as going really hot, um, when I was when I was changing the uh, the SD card out there, I was away from the fire. It was much chillier. It's just a super big bed of coals, and it's burning this wood. I'm just putting on one piece at a time now. After it's already all good to go, um, trying to preserve it all. But my wood is all but gone now. This guy's passed out. He's been laid on that wool blanket for like an hour and a half, easy. So he's not gonna run away from me, but I don't want him to um, take off and try and like fight a coyote or a wolf or a bear even out here or a deer or any of that stuff. So I want to tie him up to a tree with me here, uh, so he can he can move around. I'll have, give him enough lead so he can move around, get up and stretch and whatever he needs to do. But he's gonna stay with me. This is a braided uh, piece of 550 braided it's got a reverse twist it's super strong so i'm not worried about him breaking or anything like that all right guys that's it for me tonight this goat's long passed out i'm itching to lay down too so i don't think i'm gonna fall asleep right away but i'm just gonna lay down and relax i can't sit on that log anymore my back is killing me so That'll be it for me tonight. Be sure to get with you guys in the morning, cook up some bacon, relax a little bit. I got some tea and coffee. Get a good fire going and hang out, but uh, man, my back is wrecked. I gotta go see a chiropractor or a massage therapist or something along those lines. She's not good. It's all the driving and sleeping on the ground and stuff it's just catching up to me alrighty oh. oh yes my back feels good oh I gotta get up and shut this camera off oh the perils the perils alright good night guys Good night, guys. Good morning, folks. I had quite a good sleep. I passed out around 9.30, I believe, and slept all the way till about 6.30. It's quarter after 7 now. I've just been laying here, kind of enjoying the morning. I'm very warm. It did snow a little bit last night. Got those, snow, those styrofoam balls again. Uh, on the top of my tarp a little bit I saw but right there but uh, other than that I want a moth other than that not much snow so anyways I'm gonna get up and uh, start this fire so I can cook my bacon I'm freaking starving let's your head let's your head be good oh there you go very good now. My tired boy. Oh yeah, good boy. Oh, good boy, Scout. Good scratches, yeah. My neck is a little kinked. I slept in the same position for too long. All right, I gotta get that fire going. I am starving. Starving Joe. This Fall Raven cab jacket, it's just like a nice overcoat. It's like durable. And Looks real cool. <laughs> so look at the amount of room I had in there with Scout. He's laying lengthways in there right now. He's completely covered. And I laid like tucked in the corner there. This With this flap up, it really, really brings the shelter a whole, uh, whole more shelter. Yep. Damn. 
There's still a good amount of heat coming off of that. Oh yeah, wow. Nice, okay. Yeah, I can get that going. That's crazy. It was a rocking fire, but it was a long time ago. All right, so if I pile off all these together, I might be able to blow it into flames. I might have to hit it with my fire steel, and I might have to put twigs on it too, but I might be able to get it going. Getting a little bit of a flame. It's looking promising, that's for sure. Oh snap. Well, I was not expecting it still to be that uh, that much coals in there. That's pretty cool. Just gonna lay some stuff on top. Try and look for a little bit thinner stuff, but I'll have that dry out as I'm looking for thinner. It's not so bad, man. Didn't have to try and light a second fire today. Obviously, this was still not just easy as lighting a piece of birch bark and going, but everything would have been difficult this morning, how wet it was. So, I'm not too bummed out about how that went. So I'm pretty happy with how that went, nice and smoothly. Inhaled a bunch of campfire smoke, but that's all right. Oh. Man, 0 for 3. Good one, Joe. Definitely going to pack these out of here. I'm just going to put them right by my backpack for now. I think the snow is actually coming to stay now. That's all I can hear. Fire's going pretty good. I've got a handful of beech twigs and splits here to soak it up. I'm gonna throw it all on now. Get a good amount of coals, get a good hot fire going. Cook up my bacon, my tea. Just relax for about an hour or so. Then I'll get out of here. Got some bacon for Scout. So all is well in the world. You want one of those sticks too? You want that stick? You want that stick? Go get it. That's yours, big guy. There you go. You can't deprive them of sticks, you know? Stick dog. No, 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 stick dog. This spot kind of reminds me of home back down south. Cool, I have the option of having this or evergreens and stuff like that. Next trip will be more evergreens. But it is cool to have this. Reminds me of home. Beach and maple. Oak. But then there's things like yellow birch that I don't have and rocks all over the place and hills. And these ferns. This is mainly beach in here.
Oh, my stomach's rumbling. A little rumbly in the Bronx. You want some water? I'll get you some in a minute here, bud. One minute. Back up, buddy. One minute. You're gonna get some, I promise. Some of this bacon is for you. Mighty cold. Mighty cold. All right, I'm gonna set this just down in the coals for now. It's already boiling, actually. Almost. So much bacon has been cooked on this grill, it's comical. Man, it's getting smoked out over there. Yeah, like years and years of bacon on this thing. Five to start off with. I'll have to get them off that fire. Oops, pretty quickly. Do not like my bacon on fire. Where's my gloves? Where's my gloves, bro? So I'll just wait a minute till that cools down or calms down. Stop with the flames, bro. Nice. I got a jasmine tea from my wife. Oh, I think I messed it up. All right, whatever. There she goes. Nice jasmine tea for Joe. Early in the barn. And she's flaming up again. So that bacon grease is obviously causing the uh, coals to flame up. It's okay for a little bit, but I really, really don't like the flames on the bacons. I'm doing much better now. Bacon is getting nicely smoked. Oh, snap. Look at the sizzle, boy. Look at the sizzle. She's looking good now. Wow. That's going to be some tasty, tasty bacon. Scout and I used to go to the woods just to do this, just to make bacon. I'd use, I used to make videos, like, when I first started, and to put music to them and just go out and cut down a tree, build a fire, make some bacon, eat it up with the dog, and leave. They are like, I don't know, seven, ten-minute videos, ten-minute long videos. That's, that, was, that was the gist of them, though, <laughs> using this grill. Saturated in smoke. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Nom 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 nom. Oh, bacon. It's so hot. Tasty. That is the tastiest bacon I've had in a long time. It's chewy too. It's not like crispy and just smoky as all be. Tea 
He's done steeping. Bacon's done. Very jasmine-y. Oh, man. What? This is the life. It's snowing all around me. I have this, I'm not under it, but I have this awesome shelter. Like there's not a drop of snow on uh, under here at all. I feel completely comfortable. I have chair, I have chair. Look at me, I have a chair. Oh man. Tea feels really good on my stomach. She's hot still. She's hot still, Joe. Those pants need a good washing anyway. Oh, she's hot on the leg. You okay? I could probably slow cook the rest of these actually. That's what I might do. Leave it. While I'm sitting here, I might as well anyway. He's actually not bad. Very jasmine-y though. Did you see that? You know what's funny? His last, um, one of the last overnight bushcraft camps was my dog. Maybe last year. It was kind of the same thing. I used this tarp, same configuration. I woke up in the morning, it was snowing. But it had snowed a lot more overnight, so when I woke up, it was already white, as opposed to me waking up normally and now it getting white, but it's still cool. The tradition continues. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it again next year with them. They'll be 12. Ah, it's hard to believe, man. He was in my first YouTube video, this dog, 10 years ago or whatever. Tevin, 11? Tevin, 11? He's been around the block. But he's doing good for 11. Very good. And like I said last night, another pep in his step being up here. So it's a good thing. Well, probably just going to let that bacon, the rest of that bacon slow smoke. Three pieces left. Me and Scott will share it. I'll probably pack up and get on out of here. I'm excited to edit this video get it out for you guys I'm trying to get more videos frequently out so hopefully I'm doing that <laughs> I can keep my boots off of here the best way to do this is just to lay it down right on your pad That's good. Come on, hands, you want to work? Our oh, hands are shaking cold. You know what's funny? I used to know a guy named Brandon Hanzar. And when that song came out, hands are shaking cold. It's very funny. All right, it was funny to us, people who knew him. I guess you had to be there. <laughs> and the axe goes in the ever useful axe loop. Ah. 
does not get impeded by the football blanket whatsoever. We are ready to go. My gloves are the only thing left, I think. Yes, here they are. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a really good time. Probably one of the best nights to sleep I had out in the woods in, in some time. Um, oh, I gotta take my paracord off this tree too. But yeah, thanks for coming along with Scout and I. I have lots and lots of trips planned, lots of ideas for videos, and hoping to keep it fresh, hoping to switch things up a little bit on that push for a million. I know I keep asking for it, but I'm serious. I love your subscription. Hit that bell notification, it'd even be better. Help me hit a million. It's a personal goal of mine. Nothing is going to change. It's just something that I never thought would happen. And now it's very, very tangible. So that's it for us. We gotta walk out of here. I'm looking forward to it actually. This forest looks amazing in the snow. I'll see you guys real soon. Yeah. I'm just gonna struggle to put this glove on for a while. Take it easy. <laughs> Come on, son of a glove. Gah. Got her. You can see where the tarp was. Slowly getting covered in snow now again. Basically my backyard guys. Boom boom. I mean like obviously I'm driving and probably drove about a half hour to get here, but like <laughs> that's better than hours and hours and hours and hours, right? Oh 